What's up, my friends? So, quick trip to Home Depot. In fact, resulted out of this uh, how plywood mess up. Like I said, sometimes rushing it is just not going to work out. Uh, I've decided actually to go with the go with the fish tank design, which is uh, glass on top of the bottom piece instead of next to it. That'd be much easier, but somehow I can imagine that if the screw is going through, you know, penetrating from the below for the wall to come off, you would have to shear the screw off instead of uh, pulling it away which is a lot easier, I guess, pulling out through the thread instead of breaking it, you know? So, <clears throat> definitely stronger method, logically. Uh, so, I'll uh, implement some special techniques to, let's say, be able to line up the sheet and screw it in. That's what I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna line up the sheet, adhere, the top, uh, you know, once I place it and uh, secure it with the 2x4. That way I'm going to be floating, but at the same time I'll be uh, tied in at the same uh, distance from top to bottom, um, you know, ensuring perpendicular right angle meet, even though it's on the very edge, which makes it extra difficult. It being so big, I thought about cutting the pieces down, you know, just to make it easier to maneuver, but uh, I'm, I've mentioned before about the open design, but also thought that at some point in time, if I were lucky or luckier to source a longer, bigger glass panel, a larger glass panel, I might just uh, unscrew the top brace, install a new glass panel, thicker, whatever, and uh, add height all the way to this, basically increasing the depth of the fish tank substantially at this point, you know, even with a few 2x4s here and then a 29, 30-inch glass panel, you know, I'll be somewhere around right here, more or less. So, it's pretty good depth, window, or whatever, but if I can go higher, why not? So, I'm leaving myself the uh, opportunity or whatever modularity to do so later on. Okay, let's try to line this up. Uh, I haven't figured that out all entirely yet, so... I'm gonna probably lapse a lot of this stuff again. Here, let's bring in a 2x4. So what I meant was basically place the 2x4 there, <coughs> snug the plywood against it. Uh, let me bring you in a little closer. I don't know if this makes too much sense, but I'm gonna snug the uh, plywood against this two by four and then place one more on top, squeeze it, whatnot, whatnot. All right, let's keep going. I think you get the, getting the idea here of what I'm trying to do, so. All right, so, I have three of these ones holding that, which is for now, okay. Let me get this to That's just to get it in position. Obviously, I didn't apply the glue, <laughs> which is essential. I gotta get in there and get a bead of the glue between those two sheets, but I got them lined up at the very edge, and that's the one edge I have to grab and snug. The second piece, I'm simply going to shove this one forward, lift it, place it on top of both of these sheets, same manner, hold them up, 
this is going to be, oh, there's a little bit of bow on this, but it's very manageable. You see, all I'm worried about is grabbing that edge first and everything else will follow. Uh, once I place both of these here, sheets, second one right here, I have to cut off a uh, majority of it actually. However, I might, I might actually measure and cut before I install because of this awkwardness sort of, of operation here. So I'll pitch it in, mark it, cut it, and then install it. That I'll cut off once everything is secured. I'm not really worried about fighting that too much for now. I just want to adhere these two pieces. And that one, as it comes together simultaneously, will have to have a bead of uh, glue this way and this way. Bada boom, bada bam, done. Then I'm gonna run probably just a, a two by four, but split in half on the middle or on the inside to, like I said before, to kind of grab a few more screws into something meatier, to let the plywoods have a little more rigidity or, you know, structural, integrity than just holding by its own self and glue and nails. Uh, whether the posts or supports stay, I haven't decided. They're just there for now to help me, like I said, get things done, but uh, I might not need them. If I do, I can always unscrew them, you know what I'm saying? So if I do end up ta taking this apart or somehow, because <laughs> once it's drained, you know, it really is going to be massive too. There's no way to get it out of the door. I could get it out the window, remove the window and then get it out. That would work. I mean, for what? I don't know, but yeah. So that's where we at. Uh, I'm going to get the glue. I'm gonna to try to lift this. Normally I would just pry it with something, shim it, fix, you know, set the glue and let it drop. We'll see if that's gonna work. I mean. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so I loosened the clamps so I can line the bead of glue on the edge before I set the plywood back in place. So that's what I'm going to do behind here since you won't be able to see me. I'm not gonna wear a GoPro while installing this, but you get the idea. So alright, uh, let's line this up. Screw that in now. Let the fun begin. Anything but the fiberglass strips later line up. I'll probably, I'll probably don't 
double up on the screws down there or put them, you know, I set them at about eight, six inches apart, maybe more like eight to 10 in some places, but once I get everything in position, I'll uh, move over, you know, from where the joist lies and make some more room for the drill to get in and tie in a few more, especially the corner ones. Um, now, I really don't want this to dry up because the glue kind of leaked out on the other side. <laughs> Not that it matters, but I gotta pick up this sheet, drop the other one, and repeat. I uh, really didn't want to take off the brace there yet, entirely, at least I'm not going to take all of them. I'm going to leave one in place, the one in the middle, and the other, other two I'm going to use to tie on this side. <sighs> Slam it, screw it, and then at that point, the braces won't be necessary anymore. Alright then, let's move forward, my friends. Alright, this is the cut that we have to make in here. With all the fish. Ready. this part and then I'll screw down the floor like such I think I'll grab it right here with the little screw and I'll add some more glue <laughs> gonna keep cutting though and see what's up. this off. This is really going to work. Okay. 